Paul ABC. Paul ABC. Good girl, Chase. Anyone who knows anything about things dogs know knows how many things this dog knows. Chase, find mongrel. Find mongrel. mongrel. Find mongrel. Mongrel. Look for mongrel. Yeah, put it up. Good girl, that's mongrel. Chaser the Border Collie lives with Dr. John Pilly, a retired psychology professor in South Carolina. And she has quite a vocabulary. Chase, find croc. Find croc. There's Croc. Wow. Shake Croc. She's learned more than 1,000 words, mostly the names of toys she was shown repeatedly. And she's remembered the words for years. Scientists say Chaser may well be the smartest dog known to man. And I don't know if you can do this, but compare her to your average kid. Where is she on the intellectual scale? Well, my best guess would be that She's at least somewhere around the two-year-old. Two-year-old. Nose KG. Chase, nose KG. Chase, nose lamb, nose lamb. She knows her nouns and verbs and is now learning more. Find a toy. Find a toy. Get a toy. Good girl. Good girl. We're trying to stretch uh, her learning capabilities, and we're getting into the rudiments of, of grammar. Pilly published an article about Chaser in a scientific journal. And more researchers are beginning to discover that dogs think, they observe, they understand. I think dogs are smarter than we give them credit for. Alexander Horowitz is a professor at Columbia University and the author of the bestseller Inside of a Dog. She has studied how dogs take in information. And it all begins with the nose. Horowitz believes dogs understand almost everything, even time, through the relative strength of smells. So what's underfoot is a little bit of the past, what happened before. What's on the breeze is a little bit of the future. So I think they have an expanded sense of the present a little bit, or at least it's a little different than our sense of what's happening right now. And Alexander Horowitz has discovered our dogs not only smell us, they listen to us. Most of the time when Sally hears humans talking, it's just background noise. But when I look at her and say, Sally, you're a good girl, there's scientific evidence that she understands. So if you can make your speech distinctive by, for instance, using baby talk or mother ease, the dog knows that that is directed to him or her, and so will, it, will be more interested in it. Cassie, look. Academia just started to embrace research into the intelligence of dogs and other animals in the last decade or so. Okay. <laughs> At Duke University, researchers under the supervision of anthropologist Brian Hare at the Canine Cognition Center are studying how smart dogs are about solving problems. And the real hope is that by understanding dogs, we might learn more about ourselves. We might learn more about how we can enrich our relationship with dogs. In one test, they put a treat inside a plastic tube. Napoleon can see it and figure out he can't go straight for it. He has to detour around the side. In this test, dogs do much better than even some primates. You've got to sort of figure out that, hey, I know I can see it, but I gotta take a detour to get the food I want. So what's it all prove? The point may not be just what animal intelligence means to them and how they relate to us, but also what an animal's intelligence should mean to us and how we relate to them. Yeah, you did good. Because animals can't speak to us, it's very easy to think that they're not particularly intelligent. But if you take the time to really closely observe what they're doing, you realize, oh my God, they are so similar to us in so many ways. We've got a creature here that has mental abilities and emotional abilities that deserve our respect. 